Okay, this is great. This is this is why you want to get people together. Hi, my name is Mad Philly, and yeah, those are gumballs. <laughs> Anyways, I do have a video coming out soon with the updates to my setup. I know people have been asking, so yes, please stay tuned. This video is about Restream, a service that I've actually used for a very long time. If you remember, OG Pin My Setup used to always go to YouTube and Twitch at the same time, and that's because I used Restream. I even made a tutorial on how to use Restream a while ago, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely a big fan, and I'm not reading off of an index card. Can you a little higher? Yeah not reading off an index card at this time. Today's video is all about Restream's new feature called Streaming Studio. This feature, oh my God, I wish it existed a long, long time ago. During season two of Pin My Setup, I used to have so many guests on my show and I would basically screen record Skype and then pipe them in through Wirecast or OBS and that was a whole ordeal. Just getting their audio to work and making sure they could see me and they're not lagging and my computer's not being set on fire. It was terrible. Well, what if I told you that Restreaming's new service does that all in a browser? No need for OBS or Skype or Zoom or anything like that. It's all done in the browser. So let's hop into Restream Studio and I'll show you just how easy it is to host your own live show with guests one, two, three. This right here is the Restream Live Studio. I do want to quickly note I am on the pro version. The only difference is that I don't have any Restream branding and I could do custom logo and graphics. You could still use the entire thing if you have the free version, which includes streaming, inviting guests, screen share, all that. The only difference is you do have a Restream watermark. Now with that covered, let's go ahead and take a tour. Dead center with terrible hair is me, and that is the preview. This is what people will actually see on stream. I can mute my mic, hide my camera, which is cool because instead of having a black screen, it lets you set a custom graphic, obviously with the pro version, which is nice. Uh, next to that is share screen. If I press this, I can literally select what screen I wanna share out of my three. I can do an application window, I can do my Chrome tab, and I could also share audio, which that right there solves so many problems. The next feature is called invite guests. I think this is the reason why people will fall in love with this because it makes it so seamless. I'll show you later, but basically you click this, I could have up to 10 people with me. All I have to do is send them this link. It's insane. They literally click the link and boom, they allow access to their camera and microphone and they're here in the stream, just like that. Uh, next up, we have our settings. This is just audio and video, and they do have audio processing. So if you want your audio to sound a little bit more fine-tuned, you check that, bada bing, bada boom. Down here at the bottom is where I'll see all of the different guests that I have for my stream, and I'll show this feature off in a little bit. Now, going on to the right side, this is where things get really, really cool. The first tab is chat, and this is super cool because I can see all my chat messages. I can filter it to just my Twitch or my YouTube, and if I really like a comment or want to address it, I could click it and it literally pops up on screen. And when I'm done with that, I could just hide the message. And I mean, seriously, that is such a great feature to have. The next tab is captions, or you can think of them as lower thirds. You can have pre-saved ones. So right here, I have one for Twitter. And just like that, it'll show, follow me on Twitter at Matt Philly. And I could keep this on screen throughout the entire stream. I could also use one where it's just primary text. So it kind of fills up a little bit more but I like this one because it's got my name on it. The next tab is graphics. Now, if you have pro, you are going to fall in love with this. If you don't, I think I'm gonna be rubbing some salt in the wound, but uh, yours will look like this, powered by Restream.io. Mine is gonna look like this, powered by Swashin.tv, because, well, I don't know how we're powering it, but it definitely looks cool. For overlay, I made a custom graphic. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that. We got like a whole, TV broadcast look going on here. I like it. Earlier when I talked about disabling your camera, I mentioned a background, which I have this one that I'll set right now. And if I disable my camera, here it is, swashing, we'll be right back. And boom, just like that, we back. Participants names is really useful if you do have guests on. So down here in the bottom left, you'll see my name, Matt. And uh, that's just great if you have multiple people talking and you just wanna keep everyone up to date. Who's who, you know? Sometimes you forget. 
And the last setting is your primary color, which is not only for the names in the bottom left, but it's also for your captions. The final tab is setup. So this right here allows you to type in the title and description, and it will actually update it across all of your destinations. So if I have Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, uh, so on and so forth, then all of that will be updated one, two, three, which is nice. And it also allows you to kind of dive into each destination separately and adjust accordingly. Now, when I'm all set and ready to go, I literally just click go live and that's it. I'm live and people are just super impressed and constantly complimenting me. And I'm like, stop it. Come on, guys. Uh, it's time for a demonstration. So here on the stream computer, I can click invite guests. I could take this link and I could share it with anyone and everyone. So let's say I have that link here on my laptop. Let's do it. So now that I'm here, I will actually be able to see the stream itself on the computer and it'll show that I'm backstage. It says only the host can see you. The host may add you to the broadcast at any time. Be ready. And it says that your mic is muted until the host adds you. Now here on the actual stream computer, I could see me, another Matt, just kind of chilling here in the bottom. And if I press this little button, bada bing, bada 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 boom, I have a I have guest, a guest on, my on my show. show. And, I'm and I'm doing it, it from, from a, a freaking, freaking browser. browser. And like I said before, I can turn on participant names, which really doesn't help here because both of our names are Matt because we are the, the same person. Hey Matt, big, big fan of the show. Just uh, wanted to say you are super cool, man. And I appreciate everything you do. Oh, knock it off, man. You don't have to say that, but thank you. Back when I did pin my setup, my guest was never actually able to see the setups that I was showing. Meanwhile, here in a freaking browser, the guest literally gets to see the entire stream preview. It's also super cool that I can change the layout simply by clicking this. And there we go. We can see our background a little bit more. Looks really nice. Also, this is on Wi-Fi, so that's why it's cutting in and out. But you can't tell me this doesn't look like a super professional live stream and you wouldn't even know I'm doing it all from my freaking browser. Welcome to Matt and Matt in the morning. My name's Matt and, and my name is also Matt. <laughs> uh. I pretty much covered everything you need to know, but I want to show you what it's like to have multiple people in your stream at once. So here it is. All right, so here we are now. I have three guests on with me. I have Cookie Dunn in the top right. Kurt Grosser in the bottom left and Dominic Barbado in the bottom right, who, uh, yeah, he gave me that, that gumball. So stay tuned. We're going to do some stuff with the, the gumball thing. Uh, but yeah, so now us four, we've just been chilling here, having a good time and it's working. And if I switch it, I could actually put the background behind us, but now we're going to get, I guess a couple more people in here and see what happens. So let's do that. All right. So here we are now we have many more people in the chat and we have two different options. We could do this layout or we can do this, which um, really I'm not a huge fan of because I guess depending on your webcam ratio, it kind of looks a little funky. So I leave it like this. I think this is really cool because we could have a full on chat. Like I could say, hey, Atsu, uh, what do you think of pepperoni? Love it. It's wrong. So, okay, there we go. Thanks for coming to my show. Um, but yeah, it really, it works flawlessly. And if we scroll down, we have the option to spotlight so I can make cookie spotlight. Look at that. Like, Oh, cookie. Talk about your favorite sandwich. Pepperoni. Okay. This is great. This is, this is why you want to get people together. Um, but yeah, really, really sick. Works perfectly great stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And huge shout out to Restream for sponsoring it. It's always nice working with a company that has a service you already actively use and love. And that is how I feel about Restream. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and let me know if you want me to start streaming like this. Should I do a show? I think I'm going to do a show. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you real soon.